This is your CBS News Baltimore afternoon update for Thursday, September 28. I'm Nikki Zizaza. Two days after being named the prime suspect in the murder of 26 year old tech CEO Pavel Appare, U.S. Marshals arrest Jason Billingsley in Prince George's County. Billingsley was taken into custody around 11 p.m. at a train station in Bowie without incident. He is suspected both in LaPere's murder and an arson and rape in Edmondson last week. Police say he knew the victims in the Edmondson attack, but it is still unclear if he had a connection to LaPere. Billingsley is a convicted felon and registered sex offender who was released early from prison last October. Many are asking officials why he was released early. I know this arrest does not bring back Pavel appear or take away the heels of the many victims of Mr. Billingsley. Um, but my hope is at least we can give a sense of closure to the city of Baltimore, the, the victims of all of his crimes and all their families. Investigators continually and actively review all open cases since his release in October of 2022 to determine any connections that exist. We're going to put this individual, this violent criminal offender, repeat offender, back in jail where he belongs. Now let's all work together to make sure that he stays there. Another top story we're covering today, a warning from the Department of Public Works and the City Health Department for people who use city water. A routine test has found low levels of a microscopic parasite called Cryptosporidium in the Druid Lake Reservoir. The area affected by the parasite is outlined on this map. It runs from Elkridge in the south north to Cockeysville. The parasite can cause diarrhea, vomiting, and stomach pain in people with immunocompromised conditions, the elderly or young children. That sample was collected back on September 19th. So that water that was collected and sampled that day has already been distributed through the system. If you are immunocompromised, you should drink bottled water or boil your water for one minute before consuming it. DPW will do more frequent sampling for the parasite in the city's reservoirs until it's not detected. The Baltimore Orioles will be hosting a public memorial for Orioles legend and National Baseball Hall of Famer Brooks Robinson, who passed away this week. It's Monday, October 2nd at 10 a.m. at the ballpark. Free parking will be available in lots A, B, and C, and fans can enter the ballpark via gate E. The lots will open at 8.30 a.m. and entry to the ballpark will begin at 9 a.m. This is not a ticketed event. And that's your afternoon update. For CBS News Baltimore, I'm Nikki Zizaza.